Hi friends, uh, today in this video I will explain how to write a calculation to get uh, end dates of uh, each quarter. So first let me drag order date to the rows and change it to exact date, choose discrete and now let me write one calculation, create calculated field, name that as date trunk. So you know date trunk uh, function returns the truncates the date to the particular uh, date part for suppose uh, here it says definition truncates that specified date to the accuracy specified by the date part and returns the new date for example if you want to get the start date of uh, uh, each quarter you can give the date part as a quarter comma from order date so we have this calculation and this one will give the new date so if I choose exact date and convert it to discrete so if you see even the order date is one second uh, even the order date is uh, January 2nd 2017 we are getting 1 1 2017 because uh, this date falls under the quarter 1 of 2017 so we are getting the first dates of each quarter so till the first quarter we will get the same date so this date trunk function returns the uh, date new date field uh, based on the date part uh, we give so similarly uh, April is the second quarter and even the date is 2 it returns 0 1 so this is the starting of the next quarter q2 so that's how date rank function works but we don't have any function that gives the end date of each quarter for example end date of this quarter is uh, 31st 3 2017 uh, we don't have any function like that so today i will explain how to write the calculation to get end date of the quarter okay so now to this function let me add uh, another quarter date add of so i'm going to so you know date add function adds an increment to the specified date and returns the new date so if you give the positive value as the interval uh, this will uh, give, it will increment to the specified date so date add i'm going to add one quarter to the existing date trunk field comma interval 1 and close so click ok um, now if you see we have the beginning date of beginning date of the next quarter so uh, this this dates falls under the first quarter which is should be 0 1 1 2017 since we added one quarter using the date add function it's giving the first date of the next quarter you see the next quarter starts on um, april 1st so we have the first quarter here and we have the next quarter uh, 0 to 2014 and here we are having the third quarter that is 0 1 2017 third quarter starting date so we got the now with this calculation we got the next quarter starting dates so to this calculation if i subtract one date from this one we will get the end date of uh, the quarter so to subtract again we are going to use date add function itself so if you give the interval negative it will decrement so like positive value it will increment if you give the interval as negative it will decrement so date add of we are going to decrement one day so give the date part as day comma minus one comma and close the bracket and then click ok now now this is the final calculation so let me rename so end date of quarter and then click ok now if you see we have the end dates of the quarter so if i change it to um, quarter let me change it to discrete go back here so 2017 q1 so q1 uh, ending date is 31 3 2017 q2 ending date is um, 36 2017 so 
we have end dates of each quarter so i hope you understand how to write this calculation thanks for watching please do subscribe to my channel